So today we have a unique multi-tool to review. This is from Roxon. This is the H1 17-in-1 hammer tool. And I have been wanting to review this for a while, and Roxon sent this with several other tools. So a huge thank you to them for providing that, them rather, for review for the channel. So this tool right here comes in around 16 inches in length. And also it comes in at $32 in price. And then it is 9.4 ounces or 269 grams in weight. What we have right here is available option for sheath carry. And then it just snaps closed and there you go. So fairly easy, painless operation right there. Now, before we get into too many of the other functions, one of the things I did want to mention is, I think is sort of cool is you do have a flint or a ferrule rod rather that stores into this handle. So we will come back to that later. There's all kinds of goodies in this tool. One of the things I think is pretty clever is how it latches into place. You pull this back and then you can't just yank this handle open. Uh, you do have spring-loaded pliers, so it's a good thing to have the latch there. So what we have is a fairly, I would say a fairly good space for a hammer head for this small of a hammer. So we've got that. And then we do have this sort of the claw hammer remover in the back. So you have that as well. And then they call this, I believe, a spanner wrench. And there is that option as well right here. A spanner, I guess, is what they call it. So let's go ahead and release this. And then we have spring-loaded pliers and we have some replaceable cutters as well. And one of the cool things is it does come with the wrench and it does also come with replaceable cutters so that you do get an extra set. So Leatherman, are you listening? <laughs> anyway, so here we go right here and you can cut hard coat hanger plier with it. We've got to test, test that out. Let's go ahead and do that again. And it does cut. So it does cut better than some other very expensive tools. All right. Now these are spring loaded pliers and I think that's a good thing and a bad thing. One of the things is when I looked down in here, it looks like a fairly cheap spring what wound around rather. And I'm not sure how long that will last, but we'll see. It seems to be fine at the moment, but just keep that in mind. So you have that lock and unlock option, which is pretty cool. And then I did want to mention that you do have a metric and you do also have inches here on the side. Now, this is a really unique feature right here in that they have adopted Gerber's type system with the tools right here. So what we have is a long Phillips screwdriver that also works with the Roxon bits. So you have to buy these separately, but I think they're like $10 or so for the kit. I forget the pri exact price at the moment. But this fits on the end right here. Let's see. I think it does. There we go. So that fits fairly securely on the end right there. And then you can turn this into a very long four millimeter screwdriver. So that's a fairly long reach right there. And then it does lock into place. And then obviously you can unlock it. So that's a good thing to know right there. You have a bit kit with it as well. It's a file on one side only. So you've got the file, you've got the Phillips screwdriver, and then on the back it is just flat. All right, so we have the saw as well. Now, one of the things to keep in mind with the saw is supposedly this notch right here, I think from the instructions I'm seeing right here, is perhaps for the ferro rod. So let's go ahead, turn this around, and there we go. It shows about using the back of the saw for the ferro rod. So that's the striker, I guess, right back here somewhere. So let's go ahead and collapse this tool. And then we can get access to the last two tools. So never fear, we do have a multi multi can opener and a bottle cap lifter for so for those of you who must have a bottle cap lifter this does have it so be rest assured 
All right, and then we do have the knife as well. So there we go. Let's go ahead and just measure this blade of the knife. It looks like it comes in in around that two and a half inch size. So pretty nice looking knife right there. And what I wanted to mention is that if you have a Gerber where the tools are broken, you can, I think, swap out these tools. And if you would want to have a blade exchanger from the Gerber, you could probably put it in here just as a side note. I've done that with some other tools as well. And that might be something unique if you have an itch to tear apart your tools. So this seems like a very pretty cool option. I'm not really into hammer tools, to be honest, but I have to say if I was to pick one, this would probably be my favorite at the moment. So I'm not sure how useful a hammer multi-tool is for most people, but I think this function alone, just the small hammer part, is very useful. Just recently, my wife was wanting to hang some pictures or remove some nails, rather, and I went ahead and pulled this out, and she got the nails out before I could do anything. But this is a very small size. You could easily slip into a drawer, and you do have those other functions. So I think this is, this is pretty unique for you know a house improvement putting in a drawer putting in a little kit i think this is a pretty neat option so i think this will be seen as valuable for a lot of people this could be an interesting gift for some people in your family maybe they don't really like the plier based uh, tools but this might be an entry level into getting people interested in more tools i do like how this locks into place again you have the ferrule rod you've got some really interesting features and i like how the design it was thought out a lot more than just being another run-of-the-mill hammer tool it was it's different and it's even got replaceable cutters and again it can cut better probably than the leatherman arc but i guess we should stop talking about that but anyway, a really good option, I think, for the homeowner. And let me know your thoughts. Quickly, let's go over this right here. So again, they say right here that you do have this ferrule rod. Then they talk about the spanner, linesman's plier, regular plier, wire cutter, soft and hard, hammer face. We've got the ruler we talked about right there. Also, the Phillips screwdriver file bottle opener wire stripper i did not mention that so i guess here on the bottom of this you do also have and there it is the wire stripper so we do have the wire stripper function the saw the knife and then materials a lot of you will be interested it does have it's 420 i'm assuming uh, i'm not sure which that's for but also 5cr 13 or 15 mov and then the abs plastic so that is the handle material so i think again a pretty unique option and thank you again roxon for sending this to the channel